Hope you all are having a wonderful and happy Nancy Cox Day. We are looking at the Max Track Live Doppler. Just a couple little showers are around here. You've got one in Owsley County, still producing a little bit of lightning, but these are really weakening. One just south of the Hal Rogers there in Clay County. That's about it at this point. We do have little green streaks, which means some folks actually did get rain today. Wasn't much, but if you got some, consider yourself lucky. There'll be more scattered showers and storms around tomorrow, but the overall coverage looking a little bit less than what we were hoping for earlier in the week, and that's been a case how many times over the last couple of months. This is how droughts get going. Uh, storms will be around, but there's going to be a lot of dry time for the holiday. So have plan be ready, but don't cancel any of your plans right now. More muggies are coming back for us this week. Taking a quick look at July. It's our hottest month. Average high comes in at 87, which actually is about what we had for June this year. Hottest was 108 degrees. That was back in 1936. That was part of eight consecutive days where the records still stand. You want to talk about a heat wave. Rainfall, five inches, a little bit more. That makes it our second wettest month that we see. Bottom line is it's the middle of summer. 94 right now, Bluegrass Airport after a high of 95. It's muggy. Your heat index comes in at 99. Most folks upper 80s to low 90s, west of 75, east of 75, a little cooler. You've got the 80s showing up. We've had more cloud cover during the day, but 90 right now in Stanford. When you look at the dew points, those are right around 70, which makes a heat index. Still around 100 in Harrodsburg, so a lot of folks, a lot of discomfort on this Friday afternoon. As we get you into your weekend, especially on Saturday, this front's going to be hanging around. That's going to give us our best chances for rain. That front hangs around, but it starts washing out, which is why our rain chances decrease as we go into Sunday and Monday. Can't rule out a stronger storm with those tomorrow. Gusty winds would be our primary severe weather threat. Really, it's as the storms collapse. And if you get under one of those collapsing storms, you can get a real good downpour. But it's going to be hit and miss on those. So some folks get a decent shot of rain. Other folks, the sidewalk may barely get wet, if that. And as we continue into Sunday, another round of storms comes through. So again, some folks will ease the drought a little, but don't count on much. You're going to Lake Cumberland this weekend. Water temperatures now up almost to 80. Upper 80s tomorrow. There will be thunderstorms around. They will last into Sunday, but just scattered. At this point, the 4th of July looks good. Head out to the Legends tonight. Temperatures will be in the 80s. It will be muggy. Tonight, partly to mostly cloudy. Isolated storm and the chances increase late will be in the low 70s. Partly to mostly cloudy, a muggy day tomorrow. There are going to be storms in the area, upper 80s, but they're not all day rains. Upper 80s again on Sunday, low 90s on Monday. The 4th of July, the rain chances are decreasing. More LX18 News and a tribute to Nancy Cox after.